So these are the top five irons as voted for by golfers of 2023, Josh. And I'm going to say right now, there are some big, 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 big names that aren't included. Yes, and I've seen this list and I think you are going to be massively <gasps> shocked about who isn't in it, more so than who is. Because, like you said, some big companies are missing out. So I want to hear what you think first, guys. So please do get down in the comments and... Let us know what you would classify as your top five irons of 2023 because it's going to differ a lot from this list. Okay, Josh, I want you to actually give me yours as well, mate. So okay. compare yours Ooh. to Josh's. So top five irons of 2023, what do you think they are for you? Then we'll go through this yeah. exact list. So I would go... The, the, I like the Cobras that I'm using. Cobra Forge. I'm not doing these in an order of one to five, but I'll give no, you no, a okay, five. Yeah. Cobra Forge text. Um... All the Mimtors, like the ones you've got, okay, beautiful, them, beautiful gone. clubs. Yeah, those two. Taylor made P790s or P770 or P7MBs, whichever ones they are, are again a beautiful looking golf club. Um, the Callaways, the Apexes. And then I'd agree with one of them on there. I don't think you can go wrong with the Mizunos that we will talk about. Yeah, I, I think a Mizuno has always got to be included in top five yeah. lines because you think a Mizuno, you think of irons you yes. think of wedges you think of vokies that you know what i mean like exactly so let's go through this list first ones we're coming up at number five here josh you, i mean i'm not gonna lie i hadn't even heard of this brand yeah these are the tour edge exotics e722 irons now the overall review of this is the simply that the reasons why you would avoid these are that they are slightly clunky looking at a dress they have a solid yeah. feel and they have competitive distance what do you think of them? What do you think of the look of them? This is the thing. We were saying this before. The first thing you look at, and the first thing I did when I saw that was go, oh. <laughs> and that's just from looking at the back of the golf club. Yeah. Which, again, is maybe bad, but those things are important in golf, in my opinion. What, how it sits behind the ball, how it looks, is massive. So, not for me. Very clunky, and you can just see that from, from the photo. Um, but if they're saying, again, it's one of them. It might suit someone else's eye that, that's not, not me. I just think, right, I don't know how it's in there. Neither do I. I've not been, not been brutal. Of the, of the ones not that are missing out. Snob. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, you'll understand as you go through this, is how are these in there over, I'm going to say it right now, how are these in there over a Callaway iron? Yeah. That's right. Callaway aren't on this Callaway list. Callaway aren't. Oh, Titleist aren't in this list. Okay. Titleist. I forgot Titleist. Titleist aren't in the list. Callaway aren't in the list. They are. Coming in at number four, Josh, is the Cobra King Forge Tech X irons. Yes. Now, I use the Forge Tech. I don't think they're the X, though, but I use Cobra Forge Tech and they are beautiful looking iron now there's one caveat because obviously the, the th thing with these irons right they're built for forgiveness these ones yeah. exposure tech right and the one thing that i would say is that sometimes and some people might be like why are you saying this they just go a bit too far for a low handicap golfer yeah i agree i think for me at the minute they're perfect no no I, I use them for a while yeah i love them but i just got that one one or two around where seven iron would go like 15 yards further yeah and I think, and I think the idea of them, like you said, they're forgiving. So they're a hollow head, aren't they? So the the idea is that they do give you that bit of distance. For me, hovering around a ten handicap, I'm loving them. But I can equally see why you wanted to move away from them because, yes, from maybe a control perspective, you can lose a little bit. But brilliant irons look sexy as anything. And I think these ones are in there not only for how they perform but also the price point yes, in them as well. Definitely. Okay, coming in at number three, and Josh already alluded to these, these are the Mizuno JPX923 Hot Metal Iron. So, the Hot Metal are the more forgiving range of yeah. irons that they do. These things are beauty. So, the reasons to avoid, limited gains on previous model, but one thing I would say, if you're changing irons every four years or every and you've missed out the previous model then this is a good change yeah. or you've never gone mizuno before they look appealing very fast and controllable feel excellent stopping power and more forgiving through the turf i think these things i think mizuno do some brilliant irons they look sexy they do indeed they're they're the same as the four stack they look brilliant and also yes they're the more forgiving iron from the mizuno range you, you think mizuno you think blade don't you, you think mm. players irons these give you the feel of maybe players irons but giving you that forgiveness so again for a higher handicap golfer ideal what do you think about mizuno would you ever go mizuno yeah definitely i definitely would but again it's one of them where 
You've got to be a player, haven't you? I, I, or mentally, I don't think, no, 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 these irons aren't made for players. They're not, they're not. But mentally for me, if I'm pulling a Mizuno iron out, I, and I'll, I'll say them on here, I think of the likes of Grant Horvat, player. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Serious golfer. Like, someone like you could play them. I couldn't play You could them. play them easily. I know. Don't ah, stop you just it. just wanted me to say, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> okay, so coming in at number two now, this will seriously surprise you, but it doesn't surprise me. Srixen. Srixen ZX4 MK2 irons. Now, I would say Srixen are very undervalued as an iron manufacturer. Yes. Srixen and Cleveland are the same company. I don't quite know who owns who, but these things look unreal. They look do. Look at them. They are a thing of beauty. Now, these are actually the editor's choice where I found this article on Golf Monthly. Now, the reasons to avoid... They have a slightly smaller head, so for a higher handicap golfer, it might not like give you the most confidence <laughs> when you look down at them at address. But incredibly powerful, incredibly soil, uh, solid feel, and long with ample stopping power. Yeah, and I agree that they don't necessarily get the credit they deserve. Um, I think Shrixion as a brand sometimes gets overlooked, and it shouldn't because they are unbelievable looking irons, and they. Like some of the best players in the world use tricks and irons. Mm -hmm. Brooks Kepka, to name one, most most recent major winner uses tricks and golf clubs. But like, are they better than a tailor made P7? I mean, <laughs> no. What I'm saying is that in your mind you wouldn't have even thought of them, no. and maybe you guys watching right now, let us know what you think of this list so far. Are you surprised at some of the irons that have been missed off by some of the other manufacturers? Like we've just named like. We've named um, Callaway in there. We've named Titleist aren't in there. Also, PXG aren't in here. Yeah. Um, another iron manufacturer. Taylor Made aren't in Taylor here. Taylor Made aren't in here. There are a lot of huge manufacturers that aren't in this top five that when I first thought, all right, okay, let's create this video around the top five, they would be in there. But, but this is what I see. And maybe because we think of them because there's more marketing around yeah. them. But actually... Number two, I actually think this is a good one for number two. Yeah, and I agree. And I think back to your, your question about them being uh, better than the TaylorMade or not. I think that TaylorMade thing, Callaway thing, like you said, it's marketing, but a bit of brand snobbery in a sense. And we're all guilty of it, going for a fitting and wanting these clubs. But yeah. actually... Are they the best? Are they the best? They are beautiful looking irons. Okay, so drum roll, please. We're going to go with number one now. Now, I'm going to say right now, these things are ugly. I do <laughs> not like them, but I get why they're there. So, yes. the Ping G430 irons. So, <laughs> very, very, what I'd say is a bit Marmite looking irons. Obviously, Ping are known for being very forgiving, and with an old generation, they've had inspired confidence over years. Yeah. So, they've got a lot of pedigree in this space. But look at the state of the back of that. <laughs> what is that? I know what you mean. It looks clumpy. And that, it's the on the hosel as well. Like, yeah, like the bit of it missing. Sort of ping yeah, though. yeah. But it, it's more it's you know what it is? It's more that black disc. What is it? Just make it yeah. all silver, it looks ten times better. Yeah, no, I get that. And they're not they're not the nice looking irons, but like you said, ping have got that section of the marketplace that will just buy ping every year. They'll get the new irons every year or every other year because they're ping and ping are great and I, that's not going to change anytime soon. No. no matter how much the big boys of Callaway and TaylorMade and the such want to change and get that bit of the market, they ain't going anywhere. I totally agree. I think it's that pedigree which has got them in there at number one. Guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to check out our podcast, The Back Nine Pod. It is available on Spotify, Apple, Podbean, all major streaming areas. Please do go and check it out. We've got releases that go up every single Wednesday, keeping you up to date. So if you want to listen to us, you want to watch us, thanks so much for watching.